In this video, we are going to talk about why the ick can be a sign of the fearful avoidant attachment style. I am Pauline and I am so happy you are here because this ick thing, <laughs> I just heard about it, I think like two days ago, one of um, you actually, Corey, uh, posted a comment <laughs> under one of my videos um, asking, is this the ick? So yeah, asked what it is, looked it up, apparently it's a thing. It's a thing. And I want to talk about how it can be a sign of the fearful avoidant attachment style because it can be so confusing. I mean, I didn't know the term, but I definitely knew what it was and I knew the feeling. Um, had it a million times. Married to that same guy. So you do not have to break up. You do not have to break up once you feel the ick. So what the ick is, if you have no idea either, it's the that you suddenly are just completely turned off by something your partner does or your love interest does. Um, and all of a sudden you can't, you look at them with a different set of eyes and, and you see them as cringy. Um, and it can be very hard to get over that, especially if you don't know why it's happening. You don't know um, where it's coming from and you don't know how to get over it. So let's talk about it shall we? First of all, I do want to say that sometimes you just think you know a person, you're starting to get to know them, and then you find things out and you're like, I don't know if I like this that much. And then you do start to see them differently and all of a sudden you're like, yeah, I don't think this is for me. And then you want to break up. Then by all means, break up. I am not saying in any way that you have to stay together even if you have the ache and you can get over it, so you have to. You don't have to. What I want you to know is that if you have the ache and uh, you don't want to break up, you don't have to. So sometimes you have this and um, you, it's like, oh no, this is just not working and you want to break up and that's fine. But it can be that this is a pattern that's pattern that's repeating that you start to like somebody and like them more and then all of a sudden this happens and you're like shit it happened again I have to break up and maybe this time you're like I just don't want to because I genuinely like them so why do I have this and how do I get over it um, can I get over it maybe you don't even know you can and that's that's what I want to talk about the, the last the last situation you don't want to break up but you have this ick feeling this sudden turn off uh, and you don't want it to happen because you actually like the person. Um, so the fearful avoidant attachment style, if you don't know that, it, it's one of the three insecure attachment styles and it's the one where you desperately want connection but you also at the same time don't. So it's very confusing because you're scared of the connection. It's, it's a long story, um, you can find much more on my channel if you're interested what it is and the signs and everything. Um, but one of the reasons that the FA, the fearful avoidant, actually experiences the ick, can experience the ick a lot, <laughs> is because it's also a protection mechanism. That turn off, that turned off feeling or um, almost even being repulsed by uh, a partner. I actually made a video about that too, which is I think kind of like an extreme version of the ick. Uh, so you can find that on my channel too. Um, is a protection mechanism. Because as a fearful avoidant, that's if your partner gets too close in whatever way, emotional, physical, and you have not learned to put up boundaries or you're really afraid of people coming too close, you start to um, find other ways to push people away and the it can be a way of your body protecting you and kind of like urging you to push that person away even though that person hasn't done anything and it's not this person it's just the fact that you are afraid of connection that you are afraid of letting people come too close so that can be a reason um, but what I what I wanted to go in even further is sometimes your partner does something or says something or acts in a certain way that you used to be rejected for or humiliated for 
And so when they do these things, it feels so freaking unsafe for you. So to give you a very concrete example, I was dating Aryan, my husband. Aryan is a very Dutch name. I'm Dutch too. Um, and I, I liked him. I had doubts from the start, which is a very FA thing too, fearful avoidant thing too. And all of a sudden he said, I'm pretty good at skiing. And I knew he wasn't like, you know, medal, Olympic medal winning a skier. He just ha had quite a few ski trips and he was, he was fine. He was fine. I knew that. And, but I grew up with like, you have to be humble. Even if you are a gold medal Olympic uh, skier, you do not say you're a good skier. It's like, you just do not. So whenever I would say something like that, even being really young, I would get laughed at. I would get humiliated in a way. Um, not in a way, I would get humiliated. And um, so I equated not being humble, anything that was not humble, as being super unsafe. So I remember vividly when he said that, I did the whole, what? What is he saying? Is he saying he's good at skiing? And that, I definitely had the ick. <laughs> At that moment, I was like, ew, who are you? Like, why would you say that about yourself? Even if you're really good at skiing, how can you say that about yourself? That's like, that's silly, that's dumb, that's, that's not good. Like, a whole lot of judgment over there. So, um, I was definitely turned off by that a lot. Did that say anything about Aryan, who is now my husband? Um, no. It didn't. It, it absolutely did not. It said a lot about how unsafe it felt for me that he was not super duper humble. So as a fearful avoidant, you project a lot on your partner um, because you're just trying to be safe. And in doing that, you actually kind of want them to be perfect. So they have to know the exact rules that you abide by to be accepted in the world and you you want them to just know that and and follow those same rules so that they are accepted in the world as well but these are your rules these are the rules you kind of like concluded you have to abide by they are not truth they are not truth and the truth is your partner is just a person and um, they do have weird things because everybody does. <laughs> and it's okay to love somebody that does things that are cringy to you, that are unsafe to you, because that cringy feeling a lot of times comes from feeling unsafe. You are still your own person. So it doesn't mean that the fact that you are with this person, with this partner, um, and they do something and maybe other people will laugh at it too or find it weird. It doesn't mean anything about you as a person. You are still your own person. You do not have to be the same. So you can look at it lovingly and say, hmm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it that way or I wouldn't say that. But they do and that's fine. The reason that's very hard for you is because there is a belief inside of you that you are not accepted in the world um, unless you adjust so you are humble, for instance. And the more you love yourself and the more you know you are accepted by the world or at least by the, the people that matter, the people that have secure attachments who are way more capable of just uh, allowing people to completely be, um, so the more you believe that you will be accepted, no matter what you do or who you are, the less you will have the ick. So the ick is actually almost like, um, it's a mirror for sure. Um, and it's also an opening to kind of like practicing accepting yourself and accepting your partner more and more. Because there is absolutely no reason to reject somebody, to humiliate somebody, to find them super cringy for something they do. Everybody is worthy of being accepted. 
and it doesn't mean you can't put up boundaries if if it's something that actually hurts you or or is you know just crosses your boundaries but nobody has to be humiliated so when you feel that cringe for instance when your partner is not humble uh, what i should have done instead of like going off on aryan about how he should be humble and that that was not good um i should have just noticed in myself woof i would not i would not say this like why does this give me such an uncomfortable feeling and after doing some soul searching i would have found out that it was because i was just not only expected to be humble but like it was drilled in um and then you have the opportunity to say okay well maybe i don't have to be humble all the time about everything maybe i can own up to the things that i am good at and maybe that's okay <laughs> maybe i can just do that um because the rules that you uh incorporated installed in yourself are not truth and it is so liberating to see your partner do things that actually give you a really uncomfortable feeling and then to challenge that in yourself how much more liberating would it be if you don't try to get your partner to also like squish in this little box that you put yourself in by being humble and nothing but that but liberating yourself to not always have to be humble so it's a very different way of looking at it and the more you accept yourself the more you believe that you will be accepted by the right people who are securely attached because only the insecurely attached will humiliate reject laugh demean you for something you say or do that doesn't immediately hurt them well actually demeaning and humiliating is just never never okay it's always um not a healthy thing to do <laughs> so only the insecurely attached will do that there are people so many people that will just completely accept you for who you are even when they don't agree with what you say that's fine um so the more you accept yourself and know you are accepted you will be accepted by the right people no matter what you do no matter who you are the less you will have the ache i hope this was helpful in any way um let me know in the comments below if you've ever experienced the ick and if um this is like something new to you um and maybe you're looking at it in a different way now i hope it helps because you do not have to never have to break up if you don't want to even even when you have the ick <laughs> all right thank you for being here